Hello and welcome to Forex.Academy, your number one website for Forex and crypto education and analysis. In today's edition, we're going to be discussing statistics for traders part 3, scores market strength and market signal to noise. Although all normal distributions have the same shape, each one has a different mean and standard deviations. We know that the area under the curve shows the probability of a new value falling within that area. For instance, we know that the likelihood of a value falling between the mean and plus one standard deviation of the mean is 34.1%. So, to have a proper picture of where a point is in the distribution, it is essential to standardize it. A standardized normal distribution is called a z-distribution. Every value in a z-distribution is called a z-score and represents the number of standard deviations that the value is away from its mean. For example, if the euro USD price is plus 1.5 SD away, the z-score for that value is 1.5. To compute the z-score of the value x, we simply subtract the mean from x and divide its result by sd. The m is equal to the mean. Evaluating the market with the z-scores. The different currency pairs tend to move in long-term trends and short-term oscillations around their average. The first measure we can do to a currency pair is to detect overextension by its z-score using a short-term period such as 30 sessions. By taking the 30 sessions average standard deviation, we can convert all of the pair's values into z-scores and assess how far the price is from the consensus price of the last 30 days. Statistically assessing the strength of a trend. A trend can be described by a price change. That is, price is making a slope. The slope of the trend shows the strength of the trend. The steeper the trend, the stronger it is. If the slope is zero or very close to it, the market is ranging. We can use simple periodic price subtractions such as used by the momentum indicator, or we can determine that slope using linear regression formulas and from those lines compute the gradients. With a sizable historical price database, it is possible to compute the typical slope and the standard deviation of the mean and its standard deviation. To thoroughly assess a market, we could determine values for each time frame of interest using 10, 30 and 100 periods. After having these values, we will be able to compare the current slope against the historical model, and the z-score will tell us how far it is away from the mean, if it is overextended, and where on the map it is against the other timeframes. Signal-to-noise ratio of a market The concept of signal-to-noise is to determine how much of the price action is signal versus noise. Signal is the component that gives direction, the close minus the open in absolute values. Noise is the range outside of this, thus we can compute the ratio of a signal over the total range. A day with 100% signal and no noise will occur if the open and close are the extremes of the range. 0% signal will happen if open equals close. By keeping a record of each forex asset, we could easily evaluate which pairs show more trend lines and less noise. These will be more likely to produce gains. We can also classify SN information using z-scores and to find where the current signal to noise of an asset compares against its average. We can do this to time the market in and detect the new wave of increasing signal to noise lag on a cycle pattern. Our next episode will deal with ways to evaluate the quality of a trading system and also apply this concept to the markets. If you enjoyed the video then please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below about anything you would like us to discuss in future or if you have any questions about this particular video. Have a great day.